I love Shane's mullet, but I've done some research myself and I've come up with five five forgotten mullets that I reckon are some of the best <laughs> mullets. And I think that I think Shane can maybe be able to offer some insight on this. And I've I've come up with five people who I reckon have the best mullets of all time. And the first one is Andre Agassi. Even though it was fake, Agreed. it was a it was a hell of a rug. It was a hell of a rug. Agreed. Sweet band. A lot of Sweet band. Oh, just, a lot maybe of we could get maybe we could get um, Nov to, to judge. We both put our, our five mullets forward, and then we 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 get Novi to at the end of this to say um, whose whose selection he thinks is better. Right. I'll, I'll run through. I'll run through my five then. So number one, Andre Agassi, fake but great. Number two, Ellen DeGeneres. When she first when she first kicked off her stand up shop throwing those coins around, mate. When she first kicked off her that he's still getting paid. <laughs> when he started when she started her stand up, she had a hell of a she had a hell of a mullet. Number three, Michael Bolton. Another another great mullet. And in the nineteen eighties it was a shoulder length mullet. And I it's that must have been an inspiration for, for Novi with his one. Four, Kenny Powers from Eastbound and Down. <laughs> the, 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 mullet, the mullet the mullet with the most swag no doubt and then I think undeniably one of the most famous mullets of all time Billy Ray Cyrus that's my five alright that's a good lineup. alright I'm going to hit you with opening opening with my five um, Rod Stewart Oof, great mullet yep um, more relevant uh, Jack Goodhue he's a, he's a current all black um, doing great things with his mullet Barry um, just the collar. <laughs> 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 as I said, okay. as I said, at a seventeen-year-old, it wasn't a mullet yet. But <laughs> okay, I'm I'm I'm, I'm fast-forwarding Jack Goodhue five years. Um, <laughs> right, number three, I'm going to go with Scarlett Johansson. That was Ooh. a very sexy mullet, Scarjo. Yeah. Um, Number four, I'm going to go with the creator of um, Life in the Peloton podcast, a friend of all of ours, Mitchell Docker. Yeah. Um, the thing I like about Mitch's mullet is the accompanying slug on the on the lip. So that's I just think it's a good combo. And and for me, my favourite mullet of all time. And actually, this guy was a hero of mine when I first started cycling. Um, apparently, he's flipping. Fancy cars down south in southern Spain somewhere now, but Vladimir Carpets. Um, oh, Vladimir. Yeah. So he was a. a I grew mullet. up watching that guy, and that was a glorious mullet. I think that was. I mean, there was obviously Laurent Bouchard, the world champ. Um, he had a he had a glorious mullet, but for me, Carpets was the was the original cycling mullet. Um, but yeah, I think I think you're you're fast on track to to surpass him. I'm surprised actually you brought up carpets. I was thinking Fignon the whole time, and then uh, uh, obviously, uh, obviously, obviously there is wound, Mitch. Yeah, there is Mitch with the slug. Um, great appreciation for Mitch's uh, fashion statements, that's for sure. Mm. Um, good Hugh. The only credit I'll give him is it started as a team bet, from what I understand, and he was the last man standing. But never quite. I don't know how the length is now, but during the World Cup or whatever, it wasn't. Uh, yeah, it was missing a bit, wasn't it? It wasn't. It wasn't to a full length. I wouldn't give it the mullet status, but he did. The All Blacks generally have quite tidy looks, so he did uh, go against a lot of uh, a lot of books in that respect. Go against the grain. Um, a bit. Female mullets. I mean, yeah, you could say oh, she was quite, quite. She was quite sexy. I mean, <laughs> I can, Al, Alan's not. Alan's not saying I'm sexy, so I can't exactly say she is either. So, um, mate, I'm only gonna. I'm not gonna rank them to ten. That's just a few talking points. I just points want to know whose mind. lineup do you prefer? Who's put together a, a tighter five? Oof. I'll probably go with you, George. A few more Thanks, close mate. to home. Thanks, mate. Appreciate sorry, it. sorry, Bills, but I will Feel say... bad about rolling them at Nationals, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I will say that Agassi, Agassi's the number one. Um, obviously, the mullet, but I'm not a big reader. I am at the moment. I'm in the quarantine phase, but... Uh, Great book, great book, Peter, for great mullet. 